We've covered lots about closures in the previous videos, so let's recap. First up, you can copy functions in Swift, and the copies work just like the originals, minus their parameter names externally. Remember, functions have types, just like int, bool, string, double, and more. That means the values they receive in, parameters, and the ones send back, which might be void, meaning nothing at all. Second up, you can, if you want to, create closures by directly assigning code to a constant or variable. If your closure accepts parameters or returns a value, you've got to specify that inside the braces, followed by the keyword in. Functions can accept other functions as parameters. They must declare up front the type of those functions they accept, what they receive and what they return. Anywhere you can pass a function, you can also pass a closure. This works brilliantly. Swift allows both approaches to work exactly the same. If you are passing a closure into a function parameter, you don't have to write the types out next to the in keyword if Swift can figure out this itself. The same is true return value. If Swift can figure out must return a Boolean, you haven't got to write it. Skip it out. Next, if one or more of the function's final parameters are functions, you can use trailing closure syntax. And if you want to, and it's entirely optional, you can use shorthand parameter names, $0, $1, and so forth. But I really recommend doing that only under some specific conditions. And finally, you can make your own functions that accept functions as parameters. Although in practice, it's much more important how to know how to use them than how to make your own ones. Now, of all the various parts of the Swift language, I've got to say, closures are the single toughest thing to learn. Not only is the syntax a little bit hard on your eyes at first, but the very concept of passing a function into a function takes time to sink in. It's not easy. So if you've watched these videos and you feel like your head's just about to explode, that's great. It means you are halfway towards understanding closures.